Good morning guys, I hope you're all well. We're back with another quick episode of AJ Focus. I'm a little bit more alive today. I'm back off my holiday and I'm eager to get started back on the ST. And um, nice simple install today. So yeah, stay tuned, let's go and do it. There she is. So yeah, I'm back off my holiday now. I feel a bit more alive today. You can probably tell. It's only my voice and I'm excited to get started. So um, these are the tools you're going to need. Also, you're going to need your air filter. You're going to need a cross-headed screwdriver. And a very thin flathead screwdriver as well. Yeah, there we go. Nice and simple. And a pair of hands. So, uh, let's get started, shall we? So yeah, nice easy one to do today. Um, some people out there may know how to do this already. Um, others don't. You know, people out there looking to buy an ST, um, doing something cheap, cheerful, quick, quick modification to your car, um, don't know how to do this. So it's always helpful to have a video like this. That's why I'm doing it. So yeah, you open your bonnet. Obviously, you make your slam panel. Um, there are normally two of these little plastic tabs in there. I'm, I'm missing them, they must have fell out, so I'm going to get some new ones today. But yeah, you need to remove those two. That one, that one, that one, and that one. I don't normally, but on today's video I'm going to show you how to do it properly. So yeah, just remove those two, and remove these. Nice and easy. Like I said, a lot of people out there know how to do this. If you have an ST, um, you know other people who don't. This is why I'm doing it. If you're wondering how to get into your filter. So leave that to one side at the moment. Then you're going to need your thin and flat screwdriver and just pop them up a bit more. There we go, popped out. Popped out. Popped out. Popped out. Put them to one side, don't lose them. Yeah, I had a fantastic holiday, um, really loved it. Cruise was amazing. I literally non stop drinking. <laughs> And now I'm back here doing. Well, I'm just doing stuff again when I'm pouring and stuff. So, yeah. Then remove your slam panel. Chuck that to one side. Okay, next part is easy to do again. Remove that, and you need to remove these two cross headed bolts, nuts, screws, whatever you want to call them. Start off this one. They don't need to come all the way out because they have a special sort of thing on it, like focus. See, you just put it halfway until it starts gripping the top of it, like that, and on to the next one. It's nice and loose. It just grips the top of it. Okay, after you've done that, you might notice there's a little lip under here. Get your hand on there and give it a good pull. Out comes your uh, air filter. Yep, so that's your standard air filter. Um, whoever had this car before me had a K&M one in there because I looked at the receipts and they must have took it out and then put some cheap paper filter in there. If I can get it out. So yeah. Just push it from behind. There it comes. These are okay. I mean, if you're just running a standard car, but um, it's not too bad. It's pretty dirty actually. But yeah. 
supposed to have a K&M one in there, but like I said, the uh, previous owner must have took it out to sell it on and make a bit more money. And he just ch chucked it in a five pound filter. So let's whack in the new one. If you saw my unboxing video last night on this. I'm sorry I didn't sound very uh, alive, but I am today. <laughs> Out comes the good new one. Make sure it's the right size. Which it is. You can see the difference, thickness. <laughs> Definitely. Um. Yeah, let's let's put it in. Cool. Best thing about these filters, right? Um, people might be like, oh, it's 35, 40, maybe 50 quid for a, just a panel filter. Oh my god, it's expensive. But think about it. You spend five pounds or however much they are for a standard filter each time you do a service. This is a lifetime warranty and also you can wash it, clean it, whatever, and it should outlive the car. So that's a huge saving right there. Look at it that way, you're saving money. Never have to be replaced ever again. Also it's been pre-oiled and all the good stuff. There's the layers, look at that. Exciting. So yeah, just put it in. It's nice and flush. Give it a clean out in there. Mine's already clean because I've not driven my car all week. Get your new filter. Just slide it back in. There you go. Done. Then again, get your cross header screwdriver. Button it all up again. Nice and tight. And there we have it. Nice simple install. If you can't do that, then you shouldn't be near a car. Plastic tabs again, stick them in. Voila, one new performance filter in the standard airbox give that a thumbs up and now I've just got to stick the sticker on so obviously you've got your beat sticker on just let people know that it's got one of these filters in there just in case you do go and get it changed one day an oil change service whatever they don't change the filter I think I will stick mine just on there clean that up first I don't know whether, whether to stick it in the front there or up on top. No, I'll stick it in the middle. I'll stick it there. And there we go. Quickly, nice simple install. Thanks guys very much for watching. Remember to subscribe and like, follow me on Instagram, AJ Focus. See you guys soon. I like that. That's very nice. Yeah. Give it a thumbs up if you like it.
subscribe, like, and follow me on Instagram. I've just said that, I'm repeating myself. And then just start off and go for a drive and enjoy clean, fresh air car. Yeah. Nice. Thanks guys very much for watching and um, yeah, I've got some more videos coming out soon. Just stay tuned for that. I'm going to go out now and get some more of these tabs. Stick them in there. There's a few little things I just need to do, tidy up. But um, I'm not going to do a video on that because it's just little plastic boring things like this. So, yeah. And I do need to tidy up my head because for some reason it's all peeling off. Hmm. Great. Yeah, anyway, I'm off. See you guys later. I like that. That's very nice.